Okay, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna start the very first steps of teaching her to put the ball in the bucket rather than bring it to my hand. That might be a little tricky because she's really solid on putting it in my hand, so we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. So it's clear we need to uh, definitely do some repetitions on her understanding what each word means, but I'm gonna still go ahead and start the new behavior. So I'm gonna start by putting it right here in front of me. I have a feeling that that's not gonna work very well. She's still gonna to wanna to put it in my hand, but I'm gonna try this. If I have to, I might end up holding it, having her put it in, oh, hmm, maybe I'll start with that. I'm gonna start with me holding the dish and seeing if she'll put it in there and then I'll put it on the ground after that. Well, let's see how that goes. Yes! <laughs> well, that was easy. She's like, I can't put it in your hand. You need to give me your hand, dude. Yes! Struggle here. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna try putting it on the ground and see how that goes. <laughs> you cutie. Oh, you're too cute. Yes! That a good girl. That a good girl. That's a good girl. I'll start giving a command and see what she said. She was see us. Bucket! Yes! Oh, that was interesting. Let me try that one more time and then I'll maybe just play some catch with her. She clearly wants to play more than she wants to eat. Which isn't a bad thing. Bucket! Bucket! Yes. Okay, one more, and then I'll just let you bring it to my hand. Bucket. Bucket. Yes. Okay, we'll feed her up on that one. Okay, baby girl, she's ready. You ready to go? You're always ready to go, huh? Okay, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on <clears throat> bucket training. So that we've this is actually day three. We filmed day one. This is day three. Good girl. Bucket. 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 She's trying. Good girl. Bucket. Good girl. Bucket. Bucket. Yes! Good girl! Yeah, she didn't need any practice. She's too smart, this little pup. You are too smart. You figured it out first time. I do have to hold the bucket, though, because she gets all over it and would knock it everywhere. Bucket. Yes! Good girl! That's a good girl. That is a good dog. Bucket. Bucket. Uh-uh. Bucket. Good girl. Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Oh, she's too smart, this puppy. Okay, I'll feed her up on this one. Bucket. Bucket. Uh-uh. I'm not a bucket. 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 Good. That's the bucket. Put it in there now. 
Yeah, that's the bucket. Now put it in there. Bucket. Go get your go get your ball, silly Billy. You can't do anything with the bucket without the ball. Go get the ball. Good girl. Bucket. Uh uh. Bucket. Good. Not quite. Pick it up again. Try again. Bucket. Bucket. Yes, good girl. Man, she struggled with that. So it's good that we're ending. <laughs> she seems to get uh, the concept a lot better the next day compared to how she did on the last trial. So I think she will do this just fine the next time we try it. But that we're definitely a point to feed her up because you can tell she's she was doing good, but she could easily start getting frustrated and you want to quit long before she's ready to quit. So we, I think if anything, we pushed that a little farther than we should have. So good point to end on. She did a good job. She's a good little puppy. Oh, there's a good little puppy. Yes, you are. You're a good little puppy. So today is a winter wonderland. We got a whole bunch of snow. Look how deep those tracks are. So I laid out a trail for Bindi. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but there's a trail right here. That little line is where I drug the food, and that's where I walked. So, Bindi has never been in snow this deep. I'm curious to see if she'll even attempt the trail. <laughs> Let's uh, see what she does. She can smell it. She can smell where the trail starts. She's like, I can't swim through that stuff. Here she goes. Okay, she's right at the beginning of the trail, if you can't already see that. She's like, I'm gonna walk in your footsteps, that's a lot easier. What do you think of all this snow, puppy dog? That's as deep as you are. <laughs> she, she's gonna follow my track. She's sniffing over to the other track. If you saw her do that, she's like, sniff, sniff, sniff. Well, you, like, like, sniff, sniff, sniff. She's sniffing the trail, but following mine. <laughs> This is cheating. You're a cheater, Bindi. She, she, oh, she's sniffing the trail. Let's see what she does. She's trailing now, but it's sure not to what we're after. Where are you going, pup? Oh, that's where I walked. She's following my trail. That's exactly where I walked to go back. So she's back trailing me. She's following my trail to get to the food, which I'm totally fine with. I don't care what trail she follows. I've had a few people bring that up. She's just following your scent. I don't care what scent she follows. She's learning how to use her nose. If she follows the trail from the drag, or if she trials the trail that I leave, it doesn't make a difference. As long as she uses her nose and you learns to follow scent, that's the point of this. I'm never going to be out asking her to find meat, so it doesn't matter that she's following my trail at this point. Well, she's a trooper. She's swimming through it. There she goes, she's right on the trail again. See, now you can't blame her for following my trail. Look at that, she's, she's following the scent trail. Oh, she says, I'm gonna go over here where it's easier to run. <laughs> she's like, I can follow that scent trail, but it's hard to walk. <laughs> this is an interesting experiment, to say the least. Real proud of her, she's forging forward. She's not letting this get her frustrated. She's gonna go check on the trail. Yeah, she smells it. Well, I should have set the trip, made the trail with the GoPro or with the drone.
then I wouldn't have a trail for her to follow. Maybe I'll try that later today. Make a trail with the drum. Or tomorrow, I mean, not today. There she's back on the trail again. See? And she's gonna cheat and follow the trail she can actually walk in. She's back to checking on the scent trail. See the scent trail right next to her in the snow. I wonder if the breeze is blowing that direction, from that direction, because this the meat is actually right here. Um, right here. So she keeps sniffing that direction. I wonder if the breeze is blowing the scent over here. Because she keeps sniffing that way, like she can smell it in the breeze. We'll see what she does. Determined to give her that much. Now the, the trail actually goes under the fence here, the, the trail of the meat, and my trail goes this way. So let's see which one she picks. She's gonna go the easier route. Huh? I actually went over the fence there. Let's see what she does. Yep, she's good girl, man. This is impressive. A little puppy like this with all these challenges wading through the snow. She is doing an awesome job. She's off the trail a bit. Let's see what she does. She's following someone else's trail right now. Yep, she's correcting herself. She's like, no, that's not. That's one of the kids coming around. Yeah, she's on it now. She can smell it. Good girl, that's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Oh, that's such a good girl, yeah. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Good dog. Well, I couldn't be happier with her. That was a real challenge, probably too much of a challenge. I shouldn't have pushed it so hard, but she, even, even despite the deep snow, followed the trail, found her food, did an awesome job for a teeny little 14-week-old puppy. Couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time.